stay away from sleep aids and drugs. So things like melatonin, Ambien, uh, Lunesta, I think is one that I've heard uh, on, uh, on commercials. Anyway, stay away from these things. You, you want to confront the beast and the beast is anything that's keeping you away from falling asleep. Now, if you, why, why do I say, there's two things gonna go on here, okay? We're gonna talk about confronting the beast and we're gonna talk about these drugs. The drugs, if you think about it, are like, like, I don't know why you would want to take something that is going to fight against your, your body and your mind's willingness to go to sleep. Think about this for a second, because if you're trying to impose this drug upon the body and your mind doesn't want to go to sleep, then you are committing psychological warfare on yourself, okay? You have this drug, your body, well, let's start with your body. Your body, doesn't, your body and your mind don't want to go to sleep. Something's there. What's there? What could possibly be there? What's the, what's the thing? Like Your body wants to go to sleep. Your body craves sleep. Your mind craves sleep. You crave sleep. Why would you want, why, what would be the obstacle between this, uh, this, this like kind of blissful arena that we call sleep, this potential blissful arena called sleep, and actually falling asleep. Why would there be an obstacle in between here, being awake and being asleep? Because your body wants to go there. And if we try to, and your body is fighting this as hard as it possibly can, and you're gonna sit there and you're gonna add a drug to this to try to submit the body to go to sleep. Now you've got a fight going on. You've got to fight this brain that is trying to stay asleep and these drugs that are trying to put it to sleep. Do you see the problem there? There's, a, there's something in there. There's a metaphorical nightmare going on right now. Okay, something is scary in something, there is something scary going on inside or on the other side of that sleep. What is scaring the shit out of you? What's the beast behind, uh, what's the boogeyman? What's the thing that is keeping you from going into this potentially blissful area? Is it a metaphorical nightmare? Okay, and if so, what do we need to uncover to be able to confront that thing? What do we need to do to be able to get that thing so that we can flip on the lights? Because when we flip on the lights, the boogeyman is no longer this big, bad uh, grizzly bear that's ready to kill you. It's, it's, uh, it's not a nightmare. It's a teddy bear in the corner that is completely harm, harmless and actually just uh, wants to bring you joy, right? It's not this really like awful, scary creature. It's something welcoming and nice. And that's what happens when we flip the lights on. So how do we confront this beast and flip the lights on? For one, you have to kick the drugs. You have to get rid of the sleep aids. Tylenol PM, that was the one I was trying to think of earlier. So you gotta, you gotta kick these things that are trying to put you to sleep because, if, it, because then you never actually confront the beast. But you can confront the beast if you constantly put the, uh, practice courage in, in fighting this thing, okay? Because right now your brain is fighting the sleep and we don't want that to happen. You have to confront the beast. Something, the beast is the thing that's keeping you from sleep, so we have to confront it. Once we confront it, maybe it's a little bit easier to fall into these sleep cycles so that we can actually get this rest, so we can get all the things that rest provides us, okay? But the drugs are actually doing the opposite of that. The drugs are creating psychological warfare, creating a conflict within you that doesn't need to happen. And when I say confront, I'm not talking about conflict. I'm talking about confront, okay? You can delay confrontation, but you cannot avoid it. This thing is going to happen. Okay? At some point, this is going to happen. And one of the things that you're trying to outsource is by using drugs to be able to put you to sleep. Don't outsource this. That's like, that's like outsourcing your relationship. Uh, if you've ever heard the saying, don't outsource your lovemaking, well, do you want to outsource that? No, don't outsource your relationship. Just like don't outsource the confrontations that are going inside of your mind because that external thing will never solve an internal issue. It will never do it. Just like drug, drugs, alcohol, sex, food, uh, exercise can become an external thing that is trying to solve an internal problem. Well, the internal problem is something that you have to confront. It's only you and up to you. There's no one else that can do this for you. Some people can guide you along, point you in good directions, but they cannot do it for you. It's the courage of you putting it towards the confrontation of that beast to be able to get you to go to sleep. Does this make any sense? I hope it does. Kick these drugs, okay? They are impeding your progress to be able to actually get a restful night's sleep because while you put the drug in your mouth and then you swallow it and then it takes its effect, then all of a sudden you're stuck with a mind that wants to stay awake and a chemical that's trying to put it to sleep. You wanna talk about a really nasty confrontation, conflict? There you have one. Kick the drugs, confront the beast, and see all the good stuff that comes uh, by way of it because then you're actually gonna be able to get to sleep.